Hello everyone, I have located a game called The Hunter on Steam. It's free to play. And uh, I watched a video on it and I was very impressed with the graphics and the look of the game. So I downloaded it and here we are. I found a tutorial on how to play this game. Uh, when I come into the game it told me that I was able to hunt mule deer and cottontail rabbit unlimited. If I wanted to hunt anything else I would have to purchase membership. But I'm not interested in that at the moment. I just want to hunt the deer. And uh, I found this tutorial, which we have just started, which is supposed to show me how to um, use my weapons and uh, some of my basic basic uh, movements. So here we are. We get to head up the road and uh, look for a gear stand. W A S and D will move me, and my mouse will turn me. So here. Here we go. Wow, look at these graphics. Uh, very impressive. See toggles your walk and run. It's telling you running is good for getting to places fast, but bad if you want to see animals. Because they will hear you coming a mile away. That is true. Alright, we are at the stand. You can interact with some objects by pros pressing the E. Alright, I'm in the stand. Oh, look, there's a deer. Alright, equip your weapon and try to hit a vital organ. Alright. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Press 1 to equip weapon to board. Press mouse 2 to aim. Space to steady aim and mouse one to fire. Ah, oh, dropped him on the spot. Nice. Alright. Claim my trophy. Alright, I got to go over and confirm my kill with my hunter mate. Okay, and tab brazed up the hunter mate. E takes me back down the ladder. Alright. I want to hurry up and get over here and see what I got. I'm going to run. I got to see. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh no, that looks like a good shot. Ooh, I'd hate to skin that one. Goodness, the smell. Ooh. Alright. Oh well, missed the stomach. Got the lungs and the liver. So it may not be too bad. Let's see. This confirmed kill gives you a rundown of the size of your deer, the weight, uh, time it took for your deer to die. Uh, it shows you the distance and your harvest value. Alright, so let's resume game. Alright, we have finished this tutorial. Alright, the next tutorial will be finding the prey before they find me. Alright, so that's what we're going to do next. We'll be off to the next tutorial. Doc is telling us to head up the road look for some deer tracks. So, here we go. Oh, make sure we're not running here. We'll go to this pretty little arrow. Pointing at the ground. 
There's obviously something here we need to see. Oh, here's some deer tracks. We'll press the mouse button one. The mouse button two to return. This is I found a set of footprints. The cone and on the map shows the direction in which the animal was traveling. Yep. And there's the arrow. Notice how this track is indicated by a solid dome instead of an arc. This means that it is a track from the same animal as the previous one. And this is deer droppings. Press the mouse button one and the mouse button two. You found droppings. The circle indicates how far the animal may have traveled since leaving the track. There is a little circle on my map. Showing about how far he may have went. Right, here's more tracks. It's the mouse button one, and mouse button two. Alright, I found three tracks from the same animal. You can now see both the circle and the cone when tracking it. There's something else right up here. Mouse 1 and Mouse 2. A dotted circle indicates a distance of more than 200 meters. And that circle is dotted. Mouse button one and mouse button two. Alright, a solid circle indicates a distance of less than 200 meters. So we're getting closer. button to end of the line. Okay, it's telling me I need to sneak up to the ambush spot. Okay. Alright, left control is to crouch. Go prune by pressing left control. Alright, now then we need to use the collar. Alright, press 4 to equip the collar. And mouse 1 to call. Oh, hold the mouse one. Yes. Now let off. Oh, I heard something. Tab. Press S1. Alright, then mouse 2. I'll contact. The audio clue confirms that the animal is indeed close. If it found, if it found it interesting, it could be on its way. So, yeah. That's where it should be. Use 5 for the binoculars. Yeah, I can see moving already. There he is. He, yep, spinner. I spotted the deer. 
Mouse to the Lord of the Monoculus. Harvest time. Okay, so I'll let me shoot him. Good. Alright. Alright. Ah, the one. Left mouse button. I mean the right mouse button. I'm gonna steady the aim with the space bar. And he's not. Ah, oh, he didn't run far. Great. Alright. Rise your stance for pressing the shift multiple times to your right. Like shift, shift. Should be good. I'm gonna run because I need to get down here quick. I need to see what I got. If you were really hunting, you would do this. Because you never know what you might see on your way to your first kill. Which I had happen to me this year. I get to my kill and next thing I hear is ch -ch -ch -ch. And guess what? Here come number two. Oh, that was an exciting happy day until I had to actually get on both out of the woods. I said never again, not without a four wheeler. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't want to do that. I need to bring out my hunter's mate. Alright, mouse button one. Got him in his right lung. A whole lot better than a gut shot. A whole lot better. Alrighty. Trophy integrity is 100%. Harvest value is 95.5. Alright, let's resume game. This will be. Alright, the outro. That's it. We're supposed to know everything we need to know in order to take down a mule deer. So, then we end this tutorial, and uh, the next video should be me in a regular mission trying to use these skills. We'll see you then.